The Lakers are keeping the dream alive. What's up, everybody? This is Kerry. In this video, I'm going to give you my best bets and the model bets for Sunday, April 28th for the NBA playoffs. What I'm doing in these videos are giving you bets from my model, which I've showed you on my previous videos, but I'm also showing you my best bets. Let's look at how the model is done so far. Now, this is a model record without any modifications whatsoever. And you look in the game one, round one, game one, it did great. Round one, game two was even. Round one, game threes, it was terrible. But then in the game fours, which we had two of those yesterday, it went two and oh. So overall, the model all by itself against the spread is 14 and 12 for a 53.8% win rate. That is considered profitable, right? We have to get above that 52.4% threshold to be profitable if we take the minus 110 juice. And so far, this model, after 26 games, has turned a small profit. So here are the spread lines for Sunday, April 28th. These are the four games that are going to be played today. We have the Knicks at the Sixers. The Sixers right now are four and a half to five point favorites. We have the Clippers at the Mavs, and the Mavs are five and a half to six point favorites. The Bucks at the Pacers, this is nine and a half to 10 point favorites. And while the Pacers just beat the Bucks on Friday in overtime by three points, this line looks a little fishy. But if you read the news lately, it looks like Damian Lillard might have a sore Achilles. It might really hamper him. He might not even be playing this game. But I think the line has been adjusted for that particular injury. Then we have the Timberwolves, minus one and a half to minus two, favored over the Suns. So let's get to my best bets. In this first column here, I've slightly updated the particular table. In the first, in this second column here, we have the model line, what the model is giving us. And then the third column here, this is actual sports books lines. In the last column, this is where I'm going to list my best bets in bold and green. So I'm picking the Knicks plus 5.0. The Mavs versus Eclipse. The Clippers are underdogs here. The Mavs are definitely favored here, a lot more heavier than this. So that given the Clippers five and a half points, the model would pick the Clippers at 5.5. The Pacers at the Bucks, the model would give the Bucks 8.1 points. But as we just saw on the lines there, the Bucks are actually nine and a half to 10 point underdogs. Again, this is probably due to Damian Lillard's uh, injury. And in that case, um, I'm not going to take the Bucks plus nine and a half. I think that the Pacers could beat them by double digits. The Suns versus the Timberwolves. This is in Phoenix. The Wolves, according to my model, are 2.7 point favorites, but the sports books are only giving them one and a half points. I think the Timberwolves are going to get the job done. So I'm going to make this also my best bet. The Wolves minus one and a half. Now this is going to be for Monday, April 29th, and the Heat are at home versus the Celtics. The Heat are getting seven points. Now we know that the Celtics took care of the Heat in game three pretty easily, uh, even with 10 and a half points. I'm not going to bet this one. And finally, the Pelicans at home versus the Thunder. To me, the most impressive team in the playoffs so far has been Oklahoma City Thunder. They're young, but SGA and Holmgren have really been getting the job done there, and they've been very consistent. So I really think this is going to be the Thunder closing this series out. That's going to be Monday night. And while the model picks the Pelicans at minus 0.4 to be the favorites, that would mean that we would go with the Pelicans plus 4.5. As I said before, this is where I'm going to go against the model and picked the Thunder, I got this at minus four. So far in my videos for the NBA playoffs, I'm three and one on my spread bets. I did do a total bet with the Bucks and the Pacers for game one, and that did not work out. So I'm three and two on my best bets overall, but three and one on my spread bets. And the spread bets are the ones I'm gonna go with from here on out. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got some value from it. Please give me a like. Please consider subscribing to my channel. Enjoy the games, have a good one.